Hello, welcome to episode 14, and uh, this is just water. <laughs> but uh, I wish it was something stronger. So we've uh, a fair bit to, to do today. I mean, not a fair bit to do before we, we, we become um, a, a, an emperor. We've still got several counties to, to take control of. We need a lot of money. We need um, a, a, thousand, a thousand gold. Currently we are on uh, 48. So we've, uh, we've a little way to go, but I think... Um, you know, the Pope will, will help us uh, to get there, and uh, we're earning 15 per month now, which is, you know, which, is, which, is, which is pretty good, and we no doubt will find other ways of getting some money as we go along. I'm going to shrink my head, and we're going to look at the game in a little bit more detail. So my, my key concern is the succession, and the difficulty that I've got with my succession. At the moment, Prince James is my primary successor, and that's good news, because that's what I want. We've got... Electives on Northumbria and is it Lothian, our two main duchies. And in those electives, it is my son James. So he's getting all the power and he's getting the, uh, the primary title. The difficulty is now that I'm also King of Wales. I uh, know I'm King of England. Um, and I think Wales would form on my death and be given to one of my sons. In fact, we can have a, a little look at that now and see exactly how this would work. We lose two titles on succession. Oh, for some reason we don't lose Wales, which is quite interesting. Okay, I think perhaps they don't form kingdom titles? I don't know, quite sure about that. So, so I would lose England to uh, Talon, my oldest son, and I would lose Devon, which is relatively inconsequential to the younger son, uh, Scolliage. The only way of avoiding this, I think, is to make England an elective succession and then try to guarantee that it is my son. But I'm not 100% sure if I can, if I can do that. Do you know, I'm, I'm very, very concerned that it might be that, I, that they'll simply, the, the Dukes of, in England will vote for talent. So what I'm going to do instead is hope for the best. If it eminently seems as though my main character is dying then I will play those games but he's 40 years old he has had typhoid typhus but he seems to be free of it now and in fact he's strong and he's feeling fine so there is no particular reason why he shouldn't live for 20 more years and if he lives for 20 more years we could form the empire under under King James prince of fashion all right so let's just have a look at exactly how many more counties we need in order to form the empire. We need exactly four. We currently have a claim on the Lordship of Ferlix and Mayo. Now that's two counties. That would get us to only needing two. So that's really, really, really close. The other thing is, of course, that we could potentially declare war on this chap in five years' time. and We could get all of East, East, uh, East Sussex. So I think that's what I'm inclined to do. If I go down the individual county route, I've got to fight four more wars. I've got to get my archbishop uh, getting a claim on two more counties. That's going to cost us um, gold. I need a thousand gold in order to form an empire. So instead, I'm going to use these five years, I think, to try to gain a thousand gold. Then we'll go to war for East Sussex in five years' time, and that's when I think we, after that we'll be able to form it, form the empire quite quickly. So let's be very clear in our heads when this truce ends. March the sixteenth, the day before my birthday. March the sixteenth, nine three two. Five years precisely from where we are now. Okay. Right. So in that case, let's hit go and see what's happening. Right, I think we're simply going to marry uh, James, our uh, primary elf, to um, F Efril Vukrun at Clute. I think that just feels like a perfectly uh, adequate idea. Right, he's got himself a good ma match. That's nice. Uh, we've got another 100 gold, so we're already up to 148. So this is my intelligent daughter. I think she was one of the twins, but her brother unfortunately died in the um, in the uh, illness in the breakout of uh, plague. Right, let's go scientific. See if we can speed up some of the. What are we actually working on? I actually don't know. Okay, no, I think actually public works is quite a good idea because my development level in um, here is, be is 
yeah, very, very close to the ceiling. So, so that's probably quite a wise thing. And I should be able to get that um, relatively public works relatively quickly. Just three years. Okay, I think that's worth that's worth hanging in there for. <coughs> right. So my my wife wants money for a relative of hers. I'd lose me seventy five. She'll gain 30 of me, but she already loves me. It will stress me to turn her down. And I'll get a health penalty. So, okay, I think for the 75, I think we'll um, we'll lose some stress and we'll just accept, accept that. Ah, head of faith, 448. Now that's super. Right, what have we got here? Hmm. <coughs> We're hoping to vassalise this chap, aren't we? That's right. So we're now on nearly 600 gold. And we've been... I mean, we started in Mar March the 16th. It's now August. It's uh, barely six months. If I get to 1,000 gold, I'm going to start declaring these, these little wars. OK, we've got a little uh, Northern Army invasion here. That's good. Yeah, no, it's quite a powerful. Yeah, might be. I'd almost be happier with a, a, an alliance with West Francia. Yeah, we'll go for an alliance with West Francia. I'd quite like a big alliance just to protect us from Bavaria. But Bavaria looks like it's 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 getting weaker rather than stronger. But it's a significant power, and I wouldn't want them attacking me. It'd be nice to have a decent alliance. Um, should I seek an alliance with the French? Go on then. Okay, we can get a matrilineal marriage. Oh, no, that's interesting. That's extraordinarily interesting. So if his... <coughs> if his big brother dies... I mean, how like... Uh, I mean, this is so Machiavellian, but what... I mean, it's... This is something I could certainly do. Okay, this is certainly something I can do. I, I'm going to fo I'm focusing at the moment on becoming the Emperor of Britannia. Alliance was just that that marriage was just to form an alliance, and we've got the alliance, and that's good. I think working on becoming getting our dynasty onto the crown of West Frank here is another another thing altogether. Okay. Right, this chap here is swayed. How close are we now to being able to vassalise him? Very close. Okay. So I think we try to sway him one more time, and this should work. And that'll be that'll be fantastic. And remember, if we get to a thousand, we're going to war for some of these counties like Felix, Ferlix, and Mayo, isn't it? I'm not really worried about his learning education focus. So let's just let's just take the stone. Uh, we we may as well use it, I suppose. But get rid of the the, the the tooth. Right. So the the guys are here now. Oh, they're actually on my own, my own county. Right, we can't get um, the Knights Templars. We can raise our own army. And we've got an amazing commander. I think we have to raise in a castle just in case. We'll raise here. Raise all. Yeah, with 46 commander, we're not going to lose this, are we? They're already running. Got them. <coughs> These wars are so easy that all they really are is a slight... I don't know, I kind of quite enjoy them, but they're sort of a little bit of a nuisance. A couple of points that Ira pointed out um, uh, after Wednesday's... Uh, sorry, after Monday's... Yeah, Monday's session. Uh, quite correctly points out a couple of sort of mistakes I made, or real oversights, certainly. Uh, one is 100% of a mistake. I made one of my uh, acclaimed knights a duke because I wanted him to kind of like keep him in my in my in, in my uh, entourage or whatever. But acclaimed knights have to be landless, or I think possibly they're okay to be barons. I, I think as soon as you make them counts. I'm not quite sure. It's something like that. So basically, I, I lost that acclaimed knight by doing that. Still got him available in, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a knight, but I haven't got him available as an acclaimed knight. So that was a mistake that I made, and that was a, mis a, a, a not knowing about the rules, really. The other thing that I thought was really, really interesting, and I had been thinking about this, but Elira, Elira pulled me up. I created a, a, a character search uh, called Potential, Potential Vassals. 
Now, what I was doing is I was basically picking uh, people who who would be good to be made to make to make them dukes in in, in my realm as I took over land from from the Asatru. She pointed out, and I, I was aware of this, but I, I wasn't using it. But what you can do is you can also pick them by their kind of like court type. So you might fill, like, so you're going to do a lot of conquest. You can fill your your vassals with lots of glory hounds, for example. If you're going to have lots of parties, you know, you can fill it with, with, with people will, that will enjoy that. So you end up with um, all of your great vassals are really like-minded people or people that are easy to control because certain activities will make them like you more. And that was a very good point. And I, I was kind of aware of it, but I wasn't able to kind of like bring that into my uh, into my thinking effectively. So thanks, Ilara, for pointing it out. And I think that is something that I'm going to try to do the next time, next sort of playthrough that I, that I do. Okay, I think we're going to be able to vassalize this chap Okay, we now only need three counties. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of work, I think, to get this guy over the line. I mean, we could work on cultural acceptance, but that feels like quite a long game. I'm not his rightful liege, but I need I need his counties in order to become his his rightful liege. So I think we've got to look to Ireland. I mean, we can take we can take Ferlix. Do you know? I think this is going to be worth doing this. Yeah, because we could do a war for two counties simultaneously. It's only 18 months. In the meantime, I think we're going to go for Mayo. He is not inconsequential. Not inconsequential. But we should be able to beat him. Hopefully not too expensive. What's his army like? Okay, let's look at it like this. So he's got some light footmen, some bowmen, some pikemen. I mean, I've got a much better military. His ally has only got levies. Um, he's got quite a few champions, but we should be able to beat him. So let's, we should be able to beat him just with our uh, men at arms. That's what I'm really hoping. Okay, so we'll raise here in the castle and we'll go and we'll try and take, uh, we're going to take Brefni first. I'm not sure. Raise all men at arms. I think we'll certainly head to Brefni first and, and, and see where it, what his army does. Okay, super. So I now only need three counties. Oh, I get an uncrest claim on the Lordship of Merioneth. I think Merioneth is already in my realm. Yes, Merioneth is already in my realm, so I'm not interested. Let them keep it. Okay, so where is their army? Okay, let's go and fight them. The ally has joined them. It's going to be an absolute slaughter. <coughs> so let's go straight for the the what we, what we're actually wanting here the um, title that's under dispute. Yep, Mayo. Get the war finished. They've still got quite a significant army in the field. It's really nice that all of my men at arms are raised and I'm still making 2.6 per month. That's really helpful. And we've just won this. Okay, let's give this to somebody. Local Irish. <coughs> so, by my calculation, if we can get a a claim on um, on this this county here, Pen Penlin, is it Penlin? I think, I think it's Penlin, isn't it? Okay. Um, it's P Penlin, in, uh, of course, in Welsh. A and then we can take these two counties in one war. I think that's it. Can you declare more than one war at a time? I'm not 100% sure. We'll, we'll, we'll see. As soon as my bishop's finished, we'll, we shall find out. Oh, right. Prince Eikenuken... Just give me 80 gold. We've nearly got our 1,000. Gosh, how remarkable. Oh, hang on. It's just suddenly occurred to me. Can I do this? Request claim. Principality of Paris won't be accepted. <coughs> and it wouldn't, wouldn't, won't be accepted. Okay, fair. So that's, that's no good. I do have to do it the old-fashioned, slow way. Oh! This chap has died. 
We've now got uh, Petty King Alfred. He's maybe a little bit more likely to be vassalised. No, okay. But I can declare war on him. Let's have a look at his power. Insignificant. All right, we're going to war with you. All of East, 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 Sussex, East Sex, Essex. <coughs> Knights Templars are available. And this could not be better. Capital is around here, isn't it? So let's go. Let's raise them here. Knights Templars. Now they don't have catapults. Nor do they have a leader. Why is he? Okay, right. All right, let's start. Go there and start the um, the fighting. We're going to raise men at arms. All of them. And then we are going to dismiss everything. We're going to send the onagers here. And we'll send these guys away to be dismissed. Disband. Okay. Now we should be making lots of money now. Okay, we got a decent commander. 29, that's not bad. Um, I think we probably need to send a few troops off to fight this small army here. <coughs> well, that was one of the easiest victories in my CK3 career. Okay. I think that's come rather quicker than I expected. <laughs> um, I think we do it. Here we go. Let's do it. Create the Empire of Pretenera. Interestingly, we've got to change. Prince Talon of Alba is my new player heir. Now, that's very, very simple reason for that. Is because the Empire title isn't elective, so he's the eldest son. So that's something that I need to, 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 to think through carefully. Because what I really want is the Empire title, the Alba title, the Northumbria title, the Lothian title, all to go to my primary heir and ideally for that to be James so I, I need to I need to think about that um, but I'm going to finish the series here um, I'm going to just say how enjoy, I, I, just, I love playing in, in, in Britain in Britannia you know maybe it's because you know it is my my home it is where I've been born and brought up etc <coughs> but it's got such a such a colorful uh, history and I think it's very very well um, presented in the in the game um, other parts of the world, sometimes if they feel empty, it's because I know less about them. It isn't because they're less interesting. It's because I know less about those places, perhaps. But I think that also it is one of those parts of the world where a lot of work has been done by Paradox to, to kind of bring it to life and make it interesting. And Persia's getting that, that, that deal next, isn't it? And um, I'm recording this on the 7th. Persia, uh, the uh, per legacy, legacy of Persia is coming out. And I'm going to take a bit of time to play that. Um, um, and also, I'm going to an advanced squad leader tournament um, in the next next week, or in a week about about a week's time. So I'm going to be um, going quiet for a, about a week to, um, after this. I'll let people know via uh, like notifications and things like that when the first Persian episode is going to be. Because obviously, we're going to we're going to do a Persian run. We're also going to do um, we're going to pick one of the scenarios. You know, one of those sort of choices they give you at the beginning. I'm not going to do like a random. Persian leader, you know, that might look interesting, or whatever. <coughs> I'm going to very, very specifically pick one of the ones that Paradox sort of has highlighted as being interesting and worthy of our, of, of having um, having a go at. In terms of this game, I think I said I was going to conquer the whole of Britannia. I don't think anyone watching this is in any doubt that it's just a question of time. As long as I sort that succession out in a sensible way, it's only a matter of time before the rest of Ireland comes under my sway. And indeed, you know, eventually Bavaria. It's just a question of time, whether it's this king or it's the or this emperor or the next or the next emperor. A um, couple of point, things to point out is just like how wonderful it is to go up to nine, uh, to, from nine to ten holdings. And, and remembering that, that when Paradox brought out the last major DLC, they kind of, actually, when they brought out um, 
tours and tournaments, I think, they they kind of really nerfed how many um, domains you can have. Uh, and this is by, you know, 10 is by no means maxed out. You know, there's, there's, there's potential for it to grow much, much higher. I'd carry on developing. Um, about to to get plenary assemblies, which will allow this to go up to forty without uh, without a malice. Um, the place is growing very very quickly. It's developing very very quickly. The money is going to start to go up through the roof. The capacity you already see. I can now keep that army um, safely in the field without any any difficulty. But I've got the capacity to increase it. Uh, increase the Huskulls to nine. I've got two spare regiments I haven't even used yet. One just added because I became an emperor. Uh, I think almost certainly that would be Varengian veterans. That's why uh, got retinue guard. Retinue guards. The problem with retinue guards is that they're really really good, but you can only build them up to a certain a certain size. I think it's six. Whereas Varengian veterans with the um, accolades that I have, you know, can go all the way to to, to nine and potentially higher as well as we get various. Um, innovations. So we're going to become more and more powerful. We've got so, so much capability now to develop these these places, especially now we're in the late, uh, is it, they call it the late medieval period, um, early medieval period. Such potential to, to, to develop these. You see we've got three, you know, none of these places have, have had the third one built yet. Um, we're, we're going to be able to it just in, improve everything. We've got loads and loads of unused holdings. Oh, well, not loads and loads, perhaps, but you know, we've got Rothbury here. That could do with uh, being developed. We've got Selkirk here. We've got uh, Darlington. Th this, this would all be about this. The campaign from here would all be about making Britannia incredibly rich and incredibly powerful militarily. And do more of this kind of like I mean, I mean there's, you know, we've got a, we've got a marriage into the royal house of West Francia. Um, all that has to do, all that has to happen is that poor little boy, Prince Carloman, have a little accident, and we've got a matrilineal um, marriage to the heir to West Francia. And I think you know we've got quite a few children actually. James was quite prolific in children. He lost a couple. Uh, he lost one, only one. I thought it was two. Um, but there's lots and lots of children there to put onto thrones around around Europe and to increase our kind of dynasty renown. And I think that's the that's the way we go. It always feels a bit of a shame not to be having some sort of war. So I'd probably take over Iceland. I mean, I'd probably take over these. These belong to Norway, don't they? But um, in 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 modern times. Um, is this this is Shetland? This belongs to the United Kingdom in modern times. The Faroe Islands belong to uh, Denmark, I think, don't they? So it would that's the Faroes. So it would definitely be worth taking over the islands um, north of the United Kingdom, just for the fun of it. But but we are going to stop, and so there will be a break of about a week, and I will uh, I will definitely post somewhere to say exactly when the first episode of the uh, Legacy of Persia run will be but I think I need I'm, I'm obviously away for some time um, at this um, advanced squad leader tournament but in addition to that I think I need some time to to play Legacy of Persia uh, and, I, and I think I made a mistake with the Bohemian stuff when we were looking at tours and tournaments I was discovering them as I went along I hadn't like played it so I couldn't illustrate if you like I all I could do was kind of go oh I wonder what happens here so I think it'd be more interesting if I've got a little bit of experience of the uh, of the legacy of Persia stuff before we post, so it's going to be about a week. So take care of yourselves, everybody, and um, I'll be back soon. Cheerio, bye bye.